This is me in 2016. I remember so well that I was the top of the class that year, but I was working on projects that I didn't enjoy at all. But what I did enjoy was... That was also the same year that I met Georgia. But she wasn't really interested in me, because just look at my face. Did I even know what I was doing with my life? I was making dumb prank videos on the internet, hoping I could make a living out of it in the future. That was the same time I met Karim my Tunisian friend. He came to my school for a short exchange and we lived in the same dorm. We got along very well because I guess we were kind of at the same stage of life. Confused, but hopeful and ambitious. Six years later, we finally met again. I realized my ambition to travel around the world as a content creator. And he started this all by himself. When you tell me about starting a school, I think of people like Sun Yassan, Confucius, and now, my Tunisian friend, Karim Hantanti. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Bonjour, Karim. Bonjour, bonjour. bonjour, bonjour. We're going to your school. Yes, we are. Every day, the founder of school yeah, goes yeah. to work at... I live around 6.45, 6.30. When did you start the school, Karim? I started in 2019. The question is, can Georgia get a job at your school? Of course you can. As an <laughs> <Teach> English. <laughs> no, Georgia, you should teach cooking. What is it like to start a school in Tunisia? So Karim, it's a French school. It is. It is a French school. He started the school two years ago because he saw an opportunity in private schools that follow the French system. This was the first one, right? First one, and, and then the second one, and then yeah, the third one. <laughs> The school admits students from the age of 3 to 12. This little boy here has learned the best way to apologize when he's late. Kids are the best, they just want to learn, play and help. Mask on for the school. Oh, here we go. These chairs, so nostalgic. Yeah, in the house. yeah, I think it's the same chair. So you build the whole building. So this was an old villa, super oh. bad. Um, and then I renovated the whole thing in four months. In Tunisia, students learn French from a young age. It is a bit like English in Hong Kong. So what's the difference between a private French school and a public school in Tunisia? Public schools that are not French, they teach French, but not with the same number of hours. So here we teach like almost 30 hours per week, or a public school you'll find like six hours. So Science, technology. So wow, this is long. These are provided by the school. Everything here is provided by the school. They don't have to bring anything. Zero. You guys teach with VR too. So you learn, they learn coding. Well, they got to use the big jenna. They got to do coding. But here we teach entrepreneurship and uh, coding at an early age, and it's mandatory. Do kids have a lot of homework here? Um, actually, we are the only school in Tunisia, in Tunisia, the whole country, that we don't give homework at home. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm coming to the school. Yeah. I'm too old, but I'm coming. I'm sending my kids here. <laughs> While the other schools, they give so much homework and they have to study all day and then all night and they're tired and then they come in the morning like this. Yeah. But our kids here, they wake up early, they want to come, they want to play, mm -hmm. they want to study. Your toilets are really clean. There's like a, like a hotel toilet. If you want to see my friends at this international school, the fee is about 800 dollars yuan for a year. So you can go to the international school. 國家政府認可的國際學校 Like maybe no homework, but the school is also quite strict in their own sense. Like 
If you need to be in the courtyard recess time, you don't, don't be here. Karim's short-term goal is to build a bigger campus to accommodate his students. He is now a well-known person in the education industry of his country. I just find it incredible that six years ago, we had nothing. But all these years, even though we didn't see each other, we have worked hard and chased our dreams. The start is hard. Uh, yeah. Not everyone believes in you and everyone comes here when it was under construction and they're like, you're crazy, you're gonna go bankrupt, you will never make it. Wow. That's hard. That, was, that was hard to deal with since it's like you were the only one believing in it with your partners. So sometimes you'll go through doubting yourself and be like, am I doing the right thing? I should have probably stayed in the US, not do this. Once you make it happen, uh, people will just come and kind of congratulate you. Yeah. And that's when I, I hate it. I'm like, I needed you in the beginning. I don't need you now. When yeah. you don't say no to me before when before starting and then when I made it like a good job. Yeah. When I started like doing this social media thing, everyone told me like, oh don't do it. Go to be an architect. Don't waste your time doing it. And once I'm starting to do something, they'll be like, oh I'm not bad. Oh, you guys just have similar. You have 400 students and you have 400,000 subscribers. <laughs> Follow your instincts. Yeah. And just work hard like crazy. The equation is simple. Work yeah. hard and then you'll, you'll accomplish whatever you want. And ignore the haters, ignore the people who doubt you. Ignore them. Well, haven't seen my friend for five, six years. And then this is what he has achieved. <laughs> yeah. I'm so proud of you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. And if you guys want to send your kids here, link is in the description below. <laughs> and with the Taurus Pit promo code, you pay 100 euro more. <laughs>